Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome into the ring the WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Champion from Dagenham, Kevin Mitchell. Frank Warren in association with frankwarren.tv, sponsored by Queensbury Boxing, is proud to present 12 three-minute rounds for the WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Championship, live and exclusive here on Sky Sports HD. Your officials are appointed by the World Boxing Organization and the British Boxing Board of Control, and your three scoring judges at ringside are Mr. Ian John Lewis of Gillingham, Kent. From the Basque Country, Mr. Manuel Manichala and Mr. Dave Paris of Leeds. Your WBO supervisor is Mr. Eduardo Sicali of San Marino and your British Boxing Board of Control steward in charge is Mr. Phil Lundgren of London. When the action begins, your referee in charge is Mr. Richie Davies of All Hallows Kent and your timekeeper at the bell is Mr. Peter McCann. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, the challenger, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white, black and blue shorts, weighing in, Nightstone, nine pounds. He comes to us with a record of 27 wins from 34 contests, with 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Victoria, Spain, the challenger for the title, Ignacio Mendoza. And across the ring is the champion, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the blue and gold shorts, weighing in nine stone, nine pounds. He brings with him an unbeaten 30 fight record with 22 knockouts, and tonight makes the first event of his title. Please welcome, from Dagenham, England, the former British and Commonwealth Super Featherweight Champion and the reigning and defending WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Champion, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Mitchell. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Okay, fellas, you've both had your instructions in the dressing room. You know what I expect. Behave yourselves, do as you're told, and above all, defend yourselves at all times. Shake hands. 12 three-minute rounds for the WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Championship. Kevin Mitchell, it's two months after his career best win against Bradis Prescott, takes on another Colombian, Ignacio Mendoza. In, well, a, a marking time fight, but it could be a dangerous one. He's eyeing a, a full WBO world title shot in the summer. 
Oh, Manuel Marquez vacates. Michael Katsidis could be the man in the opposite corner. But he has to win this one this evening against a pretty decent opponent who gave John Murray all he could handle a few years back. Kevin Mitchell having boxed so well against Prescott. He can't afford to get sloppy this evening. Could be 12 dangerous rounds for him. I'm delighted to say I'm joined ringside by Colin Hart. Good evening, Colin. Yeah, good evening. Mitchell, as company as Jelly Deals, although he comes from outside the sound of Bow Bells. Uh, real chirpy character, excellent boxer, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how he handles this fellow because against uh, Breedis Prescott, he was absolutely brilliant. He didn't get the uh, media, media coverage he deserved because that was the night Emir Khan disposed of that boy, Salita, in a matter of seconds. But uh, he's now joined up with Jimmy Tibbs, and uh, Jimmy Tibbs, a really experienced trainer, has uh, already worked wonders in a short space of time with Mitchell. <coughs> Mitchell likes a tear up, but at least uh, Tibbs has sort of bombarded him with the idea that concentrate on your defence first and then the rest will follow and he boxed to the absolute lesser against Prescott and uh, won virtually every round no, he did. Jimmy Tibbs has installed a, a sense of discipline in Kevin Mitchell that discipline was more than evident against Brady's Prescott you have to do the same though against Mendoza first look at the Colombian he boxes out of Spain in this first round, and he looks compact, looks as if he knows what he's doing, doesn't he, Colin? Yeah, he's got a sad face, and he never seems to change that sad expression, but I'm sure he's come up in a very tough background, and uh, guys have come up in tough backgrounds, and he's got 18 KOs on his record, he must command the utmost respect. He looks in good nick as well, doesn't he? Yep, he's obviously not come here to make up the numbers. He's come here to win the title and uh, put a dent into that unbeaten record that uh, Mitchell has carried for about, what, six years now? Yeah, 30 fights. Unbeaten Kevin Mitchell, former British super featherweight champion, former Commonwealth super featherweight champion as well. For a long time, it looks like he'd got a world title shot at super feather. He's moved up to 135 pounds. He's, uh, looks more comfortable there. So well, it was a real struggle for him to get down to, to nine stones. Four. I say, no, nothing much happened in that uh, round. So, uh, one, two, I suppose. I don't you know, know, score even round. Double because double round. Double most people have scored that round even. The fact that nothing very much happened. But again, 12 rounds is a long way. And Mitchell was obviously having a look at Mendoza. All he's he's a bit of an unknown Jay, quantity. Try to reach you with a right hand. Yeah. against John Murray. That's what you've got to be careful of, right? Yep. That's for the WBC so Youth title. Jeb, 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 in many countries around the world, he, he would have won the fight. Mm -hmm. form in his, his last few fights. He was stopped by a bit of a journeyman over in Spain, but then avenged that defeat with a stoppage win of his own. Mitchell's stepping up the pace a bit now. And he had a look in that first round, didn't he? Yeah, quite rightly so. Obviously, he felt that if uh, Mendoza's got much power and uh, <laughs> now beginning to get his uh, shots on target, Richard jabbing. Following up with a right cross. I don't think Mendoza doesn't carry as big a threat as Prescott. In terms of KO power, he does look a, a better boxer. Prescott was quite crude, wasn't he? Oh, oh no, it's down yeah. Mendoza from a beautiful right left hand. hand that finished, the, finished it. It was the right that started it. 
I don't think Mendoza's getting up from this. No, he's not. All over in the... Mendoza doesn't know where he is. Did it. Second oh. round win for Kevin Mitchell. I thought it was the right hand that did it, but uh, I could be wrong. It happened so quickly in a flash. It was a flurry of punches, wasn't it? And Mendoza was suddenly on the canvas. And he's in trouble too. There's a, I see the doctors uh, calling in the paramedics, I think. It looked as if he didn't know where he was when he went down. He did. I think he's, he's conscious. Well, the paramedics are sitting up now as well. Cracking victory for Kevin Mitchell. I mean, it happened so quickly. Although he's right in front of us, I wasn't sure whether it was the right or left. I thought it was the right hand that uh, did the real damage. He may have followed it up with the left. But it was a beautiful shot. He's grinning now, Mendoza. He wasn't, grinning, he wasn't grinning a moment ago. No, he's fast asleep. He's sat in his corner. It's Kevin Mitchell. Milksy. Applause of the crowd. Hopefully we're going to have a look at the knockdown before we get yeah, I want the to result. I want to be... Here we go. Right hand. Yeah, right hand. Followed by left. Oh, my eyesight's not that bad yet. Beautiful right hand. It lifted him off his feet. Look. That was a cracker, wasn't it? Yeah. And it, it was a following left. He didn't need the left. The right hand had done the damage. The last time I saw a fighter come off his feet like that, believe it or not, was Joe Frazier in Kingston. In, yeah, against when, George Foreman. When George Foreman had lifted him off his feet, I think, in that second round. Must have been nearly 40 years ago, Paul. Well, my memory is still there as well, you know. I shall never forget it. What was that? Was it the left caught him in the neck as well? It was a beautiful right hand shot. His timing as much as power, you know. It's uh... oh. and I don't think anybody expected him to knock out Mendoza like that. No, we thought. Oh, we thought that Mitchell would get some hard rounds this evening. And well, Mendoza, he looked very composed, didn't he, Mendoza, in the first? Yeah. And uh, Frank Warren said to us as the fighters were coming in the ring, he said he's got a tough one tonight. <laughs> Just shows you, doesn't it, um, how in this business, of boxing business, in a split second, everything can be turned upside Ladies down. Ladies and gentlemen, at one minute, 24 seconds of round two, the fight has been stopped. The winner by count -up, and still the WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Champion, in the blue corner from Dana, Kevin Mitchell.